Uh, yeah, it wasn't an ideal start to our tour, that's for sure. Um, and obviously, we got beat pretty comprehensively, so um, I think it'll be about how we rebound back um, with the ball in the first sort of 10 to 15 overs. Um, we've been pulling it back really well recently, but um, you know, we're, we're, they got off to a really good start and, and posted a really good score on that wicket. So, and then for us to go out and, and bat the way we did, it wasn't um, that wasn't great. But the last two weeks ago, we, we chased down 300 plus, you know, three or four times. So. It's not panic stations by any means, but you know we have to improve, no doubt. Um, we've just come off a really tough Indian series, and you know they're some of the best players in the world. And um, we had we struggled taking wickets in the first ten. So yeah, you know McCullum and Guptill played really well yesterday, and um, it's something that we have to continue try, to try to improve. Is that you know start with the ball, trying to take wickets into that first ten overs is, is crucial. But yeah, I think I think it, it would be a little bit in a sense that you know normally it can swing and seam over here, but um, yesterday it didn't really seem to to swing and seam that much. Um, you know they still posted 300, small ground, um, but yeah, you know it normally generally it does swing and seam over here. Yeah, it can be hard at times, no doubt. Um, just if the wickets are getting flatter and the bats are getting bigger, I think. But um, no, look, it's. I think it's part and, part and parcel of the modern game. You have to accept as a fast bowler or any bowler that you're going to get hit for boundaries, um, more so probably in T20 cricket, but that's floating through into, into one-day cricket and even you know, test match cricket. Yeah. So it's just about just taking your medicine and, and knowing that you've just got to try and run in again and, and bowl your best ball. That's all, really, at the end of the day, that is all you can do. Yeah, Marcus Stoinis is um, you know he's a big big guy, um, a confident guy, and he's got some really good skills. Um, he he did really well for the Melbourne Stars in the Big Bash with the ball, um, opened opened the batting for them in 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 that, and um, he's very powerful with the bat. Um, but yeah, I think he's he would have learned a lot from that series over in England that he was included for, and um, he'll be better for it. But I you know I think he's got a lot. A lot of good things to offer and as an all-round package he's got a good arm in the field he's got you know good pair of hands he's got some extreme power with the bat and you know he can he can bowl some some pretty handy slow balls and yorkers as well so um, you know if he gets a gig he'll be hopefully he'll be well suited